This is the plaintiff, James. He says the defendant, his girlfriend's twin sister, jumped on his back during a family dispute and started hitting him. During the scuffle, his cell phone was broken and his shirt was ripped. The out-of-control defendant's nothing but trouble, damaged his property, and he's suing for $4,650, the cost of the cell phone, shirt, medical bills, and pain and suffering. This is the defendant, Elizabeth. She says the plaintiff started it all by physically pushing her into a car. She tried to defend herself and pushed him back, and that was that. The plaintiff just looking to make a quick, easy buck by filing this bogus lawsuit. And everyone will see what a fool he really is after he loses this case. She's accused of going AWOL. All parties, please raise your right hand. Be seated, come to order. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, Okay, James? Yes, ma'am. Uh, you've asked to be referred to only by your first name, and uh, you were suing Elizabeth. You've asked to be referred to only by your first name as well? Yes. Okay. For $4,650 in damages that you say you are out as a result of your girlfriend's twin sister attacking you? Yes, ma'am. Okay, what happened? Uh, I was at my girlfriend's job waiting for her to get off, and I was waiting for her, and then... She was taking a while to leave, so I went over to her car to make sure everything was okay. And then I saw Elizabeth and her father standing there. Okay. And she was talking to Elizabeth. And then I started talking to uh, Paul, and we were talking about trucks. And then he said he wanted to go home. So I walked back to my truck, and Elizabeth wasn't leaving. She started yelling, and I told her, if she didn't leave Veronica alone. I was going to call the cops. Wait, wait, wait. Where, I, like, I, her, her twin sister and the father are there at work. Stand up, please, and come to the microphone. Why are they there? They came there to confront me to come back home. Oh, okay. So there's a problem. Yes. Yes. Oh, you skipped that part. Can you no. tell me? Why don't you tell me? What's the problem? I left home about um, a year and a half ago because of domestic violence in the house. So I left because it wasn't stopping. and Domestic violence between whom and whom? My sister and me. My sister was abusing me while I was there. So how? I, how? Like verbally and physically harassing. Physically how? Punching, hitting. She used to hit me with one of my cookbooks. She pushed the bed off while I was trying to sleep. Um, I tried. Have, have, have you always had this kind of relationship with your twin sister? It escalated. It was started out small and escalated over time. So it got to the point where it wasn't stopping and I've so had enough. So you moved out and went where? First I went to my father's house for a couple of weeks till I graduated one school and then I went to a different school and I moved out oh, to- Oh, hold on, hold on. You went to your father's house, how old were you? I think I was 20. One twenty-two. Okay, and so you moved with your father because your father, and who, who were the players in this? I don't know who they Paul is my father. Right, I got it. And then she's your sister. Mm -hmm. When you were living with her, it was just the two of you or with somebody else? It was my mother, two, two brothers, and my sister. And is that where you had lived growing up mm -hmm. and you'd never moved out? So then you went to your father's for a while. Yeah. And then? Then I moved to my grandmother's house, my father's mother, uh, while I went to school. Okay. And... That's when this event happened while I was there. When did you start dating him? We started dating in 2009. Were you in living December. at home when you met him? Yes. And how long has it been before that day? How long had it been that you hadn't seen your sister and your father? My father, I saw every, every other week or so at my grandmother's. I hadn't seen my sister in months. Right. It was kind So what of, did your sister go there for that day? She was trying... It came across that she was accusing me of all the pr problems at home and just yelling at me for everything. What was she saying? She was saying that there, it was harder at home. It was like harder to pay the bills and they moved out of the house I was staying in with them. Okay, I'm gonna, I wanna hear your responses and all this stuff is important not because I'm trying to pry into your affairs but because you're here to sue the sister for beating you up. So I need to know what was being discussed right before the confrontation. Go ahead. I went to go see my sister because it's been a year. That you talked to her? Mm-hmm. You hadn't talked to your sister in a year? Does that sound right? Oh my God. 
the reason why we started fighting more and more. Oh my gosh, and you're both a wreck. You're both just about to burst. Go ahead. We've been um, fighting more and more is ever since you met him. But was there physical violence that maybe shouldn't have happened? We, we both fought. I understand it may be wrong in that part, but she also fought me. All right, go on. So, the family didn't like him. Why didn't they like him? Arrogant, rude, disrespectful, just, and he seemed controlling. Okay. Is your sister easily controlled? Yes. Okay. That night, I wanted to go see her. He wasn't there when I pulled up with my father. He wasn't there. Okay. So I wanted to go talk to her and said, I just want to talk to you. you, see, when, you talk, when you saw her, what did you just say to each other after not seeing each other for a year? Oh, I, wanted to, I said to her, my mother still does love her. And next thing I know, he pulls up and starts yelling at me, what am I doing there? I said, I'm just trying to talk to my sister. My father pulls him away and they spoke apparently about trucks. I didn't know about that. About trucks? Dad, what, what is this about trucks? Like how do trucks come into this? When uh, the boyfriend came in to the three of them, I ushered him away from them and talking in another part of the parking lot. And I mean, he, when you ushered him away, I assume you didn't just start talking about trucks. What did you say well, to him to no, get him to walk he away? he has a truck. And he had some work done on it, and we were talking about that. It has to be true, because you say the same thing, that he starts talking to you about trucks. No. And what do you do? You walk away and start talking about trucks with him? He asked me about a truck, and so we went and started talking about it. So you walk away and you leave the sisters alone for how long? Uh, five, maybe ten minutes. Not they're talking. Okay, and then what happens? I went back to my truck, and uh, then Elizabeth started screaming. And I told her if she didn't leave Veronica alone, I was going to call what the police. What was she screaming? I wasn't really paying attention Let to what they were talking Let me ask you a about. question. When, you know that your girlfriend hasn't spoken to her twin sister in a year, right? Mm -hmm. You weren't happy when the two of them were having some contact? I mean, you love her, right? I've, I've told her. Do you to love go. this woman next yes. to you? Yes. And I've told her to go talk to her family. Right. And I so told it her was to go, happening. So why would talk. there be a, what, why are you here? Because at that time it was about 10.45, I guess, at night. And she was yelling. And so what happened? I told her, I pulled out my phone and told her if she didn't uh, go away, I was going to call the police. And then? And then she grabbed Veronica. And then. Elizabeth grabbed Veronica. Then I grabbed Veronica, pulled her over my truck, opened the door to get her inside the truck so we could just leave. Okay. And then Elizabeth started hitting me. How, how did she hit you? With, a, with an like open a, hand? A with fist. a fist? Where did she hit you? Uh, in the head, in the shoulder, in the back, in the side. The okay. arm. And then when Veronica ran for her car, her sister went after her again. And Wait, Veronica got out of your car and went to her car? Well, she didn't get in the truck. She was like the doors open. She was standing in the doorway of the truck. And then when Elizabeth started hitting me, she ran for her car to get in her car and drive away. And then when Elizabeth went after her, I got. I don't understand, Veronica. If in fact your sister is beating your boyfriend up, why are you leaving your boyfriend's car where you where you're you're already in in the car and going to your car that's somewhere else and then leaving your girlfriend to beat up on your uh, your sister to beat up on your boyfriend? I'm not understanding this part. These sisters are like two gladiators when they get together. They can't seem not to fight. They hadn't seen each other for more than a year, and when they came face to face, it exploded. Let's listen. I was very frantic at the time. I didn't. I felt like if I got into his car that we were gonna leave my car behind and I didn't wanna leave my car. And then what happened? As I went to get into my car, I feel James bump into me because I didn't realize she was going after me and he like puts me in my car. And as I'm sitting in the car, I look behind me and she had jumped on his back and is still hitting him. And that's when I saw my father pulling him, her off of him. What happened, Dad? The three of them were in a mush, and I went out of my car, and I physically had to take Elizabeth off the pile. When you say you physically had to take Elizabeth off the pile, why is that? Who was attacking who? They were all, it was just all, I couldn't say as far as who was attacking. They were all three in a, in a mix. What is your version of how it happened? I never touched him by his truck. And Did you ever touch him at all? I was defending myself because he pinned me against her car. How did he pin you against her car? He 
pushed me into the car. And then you did what? I defended myself, and at the same time, I saw him pushing my sister. How so, did you defend yourself? Well, I And then at reacted. the same time, you saw him what? Push, pushing my sister. Okay, but we do know that what he's doing is trying to get between you and your sister. Yeah. And spiritually, physically, whatever it is, at the moment, it's physically, right? And so if he goes like this to you, the other option you have is to walk away and try oh, this at couldn't. another time rather than try to come back and make and be angry at him that he's stepping in between you and your sister. He doesn't want us talking. He doesn't want you talking. And I have a history. Um, I have a police report stating that he's harassed me in the past. Really? Yes. How? Um, Let me see the police report. What's that about? I don't know. It's just I've, a complaint. No police have talked to me about... You have a, you're, you're asking for a cell phone, amount owed for a cell phone, because according to you, the cell phone, $435 for a cell phone? Why? Because I'm not Show owed. me the bill. Uh, I don't actually, I don't have a, I have the, what the phone, I got the phone as an upgrade. I know, and it that's costs. how everybody gets all their phones now. So, so that's not, why, if eligible. you want 435, right, that's fine. I'm so not get, eligible for an upgrade. And so that's the fine, so they'll give costs. you a quote. So give right. me the quote. Oh, yes. And plus, show me the phone, the broken phone. Do you have it? And do you know how the phone cool. broke? I had it in my hand when I threatened to call the police. And then when she grabbed Veronica and I grabbed Veronica and she started hitting me. And What's wrong with the phone? Dead. I see that it doesn't turn off, but I don't know right. if it's dead. What's wrong with the phone? When you're talking, the, the volume will go off and people can't hear you. There's, the uh, the microphone doesn't work. Okay, did you buy a new and phone? Because uh, this happened back in when? Uh, no, I'm actually using uh, an older version of that same phone. Okay. A ripped $25 for a ripped shirt. Do you have your shirt? Yes. So there's there's some <laughs> irony. So much for Superman. <laughs> May I see something? Yeah. I never saw a cell phone. And the very next day after this happened, um, the plaintiff came went to my father's job and um, basically threatened him saying, pay $900 or I will file this. And this is what he gave him. And then in the mail, I received $4,000. Just to change the amount, just the same. To four times as much. Yeah. How, how's that? Uh, well, when I filed the suit, I was just filing for the uh, phone, the shirt and time that I missed from work. Where are your uh, medical bills? Because uh, well, I don't see actually, that in here either. When I, when I filed for the suit, I hadn't been billed yet. Well, how did you pick 2000 out of curiosity? My mom told me. That's about, what, your it, mom know how that's much about what it costs to go to a, an emergency room. Oh my gosh, it depends on what the reason for the emergency is and what happened. Let me ask you a question. Do you want your girlfriend to have a relationship with her twin sister? Yes. A boyfriend? who wants her, his girlfriend to have a relationship with her sister, doesn't end up in this situation. Doesn't end up shoving people into cars and moving people away and then, then, then the physical violence happens, but doesn't end up you know, in a situation where you're asking for 4,600, goes to the father's house, the father's work the next day and says $900 or I'll file a suit. I see that there's a piece of paper that says that you were gonna file a suit for nine. Magically it blossoms to over four times that amount. You are not calming the fire. You are adding fuel to the fire. Let me give you some advice. Happy wife, happy life. Yes, okay? ma'am. That's right. Does she look happy to you, honey? No, ma'am. Right. Families are all dysfunctional, okay? They're all dysfunctional. This seems a little more dysfunctional than a lot of others. If there's physical violence, it's always dysfunctional. But do you have any doubt that this woman loves you? You know that. This is breaking you. And this is breaking her. You've barely been able to keep a dry eye from the mo. I've barely been able to keep a dry eye because I'm trying to imagine if my daughters were in this position, how it would make me feel as a parent. How does it make you feel, Dad? I'm torn. Don't you think there's something you can do about it? You have no influence I over either of them? I mean, she has an anger problem, I think. And then you have a, I don't want to talk about it problem. This day could be a crossroads for you. This day, today, 
or this day can just be another day in court for you. And welcome back to the People's Court, Harvey Levin here. So if you have two siblings, like two sisters, and they are so violent with each other and it just doesn't stop, is it better to cut off the relationship or to try and repair it? Uh, cut it off, definitely. Does not need to keep going. Does it bother you that you're gonna basically say to these two siblings, they're done forever? No, you know, some people are just not compatible. Even if they're relatives. Even if they're relatives. And who gets the last word? If they can't be civil to each other, well, they gotta yeah. break it off. You move on. Absolutely. Fair enough, going inside the courtroom. James, let us discuss your case. You're asking for $435 for a cell phone that you say is broken, that I can't see from looking at it is broken, you say it's broken. You're asking for $25 for the rip shirt, but that's not the bulk of your case. You're asking for $2,190 for pain and suffering. You went to the VA how, how, how long later? Uh, two days later, Your Honor. All right. You didn't go to an emergency room that night? Uh, no. Okay, and what did you go to the VA for? Uh, back pain, Your Honor. And, Your Honor if Had I you could... been to the VA for back pain before that? Uh, actually, yes I have. Right, and so you went to the VA, and so here's another VA thing that talks about back pain, and does this, this VA report say anything about somebody hitting you? Uh, I'm... Not sure, Your Honor. I know the, the nurse. Yeah, James, I'm sure. There's no, tell me, let me tell you how it works. When people go to the hospital for something, the first thing the doctor asks is, why are you here? What happened? Because it's important in the treatment plan. I looked through your medical reports. Let me tell you how often it talks about you being beat up and that causing your back pain. Zero. Because it didn't cause your back pain, James, because you already have back pain. You were already being treated by the VA for it. This, to me. I am. No, 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 listen. This, to me is bad because it shows me someone who's angry and vindictive as opposed to calm and conciliatory. Stop. Two, you are suing for $2,000 in medical bills. You know that Judge Milian requires evidence like every other judge who has connected brain cells. Sorry, were you gonna say something? Um, yes, I do. Yeah. I actually have medical records myself. From um, what? I Let actually- After this happened? Before. I've been on workers' comp for over two months. And why are you showing me that? It's for back pain, so there has been no way I could have jumped on his back or done any of those things. I've been out of if work. If you didn't jump on his back, tell me why your sister says you did, do you think? Because he said so. And because she'll do whatever he says? Yes. Yeah, I, um, I am not gonna rule in your favor. And the reason that I'm not gonna rule in your favor is because I don't really know what happened out there that night. As I sit here, I'm just not convinced of how it happened. And unless I'm convinced, I can't find somebody else liable to pay you um, the amounts you're talking about. Much, I would never find anybody liable to pay you $2,000 that don't exist or, or you know, twenty one ninety dollars in pain and suffering, but I, I, I can't even find for the other stuff. Yeah. Me, can I, I filed, I wrote the paperwork for $900 for the, the pay, Right, the and then you went there and you the told shirt. them pay it or I'm filing a lawsuit and then the lawsuit became over no, four times as much. What do you think that does that. to your credibility in court? I did not tell them at that, Your Honor. Well, My mother how, did, how, did the, how did the form that says 900 get in their hands other than you filling it out and going to his office? How did it become four times that Because you're calm and conciliatory? Do me a favor. My Show, mother told stop me Stop talking. To. Show some backbone. Show some backbone. Show some backbone. These are your calls. If he won't take you on your terms, he doesn't have to sit there with Thanksgiving with them if he doesn't like them and feels they don't like him. But he does have to respect you as an individual. Okay? Good luck to everybody. All right, the plaintiff is right here. Come on in here. Uh, come on. Also, uh, what's your reaction to the verdict? She didn't want to listen. In. And she kept complaining about the, the amount of lawsuit. I wanted to file a lawsuit for $900. My mother recommended that I sue for the $4,000. You made that clear. Because I might get a bill. Let me ask you a question. Do, do you take some of the blame for breaking up this family to the point it's at right now and coming between these twins? No. They, they had the issues with her. I don't care about them. So, if, yes. What do you think of that? It's a big mess. Okay. All right. Right, right around the corner there, okay? Documents are waiting. All right. How you feel coming out of the courtroom here? Not good. Dad. Yes. I and mean, I'm a dad too, uh, not of twins, 
sisters, but uh, how does it make you feel here? How painful is this to see the two on opposite sides like that? I'm torn. I'm definitely torn. Mm -hmm. What can be done? I mean, uh, time. we need time and we need some help. Mm -hmm. All right. Listen, good luck to all of you. All the best. Okay. Harvey. So, you know, there are these mediation services for family counseling in a lot of big cities. You can actually get them for free or very, very low cost. So if you're in a big city, you should check it out if you're really having a problem like this. That's going to do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.